This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, uh, with respect to Java interview question series, again, I have come up with one interesting question over here. Uh, let's see, string based question. There is a string, and uh, we need to check that the string contains only digits or not. Right? So, let's see, one digit. One string is something like this uh, one, two, three. So it contains only a uh, numeric digit or not. So if it, if it contains, then it should return true. Otherwise, it should return false. This is also a very, uh, you know, something really important interview question. People might ask you just to check your uh, basic Java knowledge on this thing. So, how to do that? So, what exactly I'll be using? Let me create a class over here. And my class name is, let's see, uh, check is numeric whatever okay select the main method and click on finish so what i'm gonna do that uh, inside the main method we will call the respective uh, method i'll create a method over here and to create the method let's see i'm gonna create first method is let's see public right uh and make it a static so that i can call by class name and directly and public static boolean and my method name is first i'll write is empty first i'll check that this condition is important that uh, whatever the uh, string that you are passing right is empty string or null string or if the length is equal to zero it means you simple return okay you return false for that so let's see i just simply create this particular method and here instead of a string i'll be using one character sequence class reference i'll tell you why okay let's see one character sequence class reference is there and i'll pass let's see cs like this and uh, this particular character sequence i'll add return statement in some time but i'll simply write return if whatever the character sequence is equal to equal to one or cs dot length is equal to equal to zero like this okay so then you return okay true or false on the basis of that right so let's see some basic simple is empty method i have created now the actual logic i'll be writing with respect to this that public i'll create one more static method and this method also will return a boolean now this is my numeric method that is a uh, numeric let's see this let's take this and I'll be writing let's see character sequence. Okay, let's see CS like this. So simple this particular method I'll call first that if the okay the string is empty. So I'll write simple if is empty. Okay, the whatever the character sequence that we are passing, then you simple return false. Okay, that this is not a numeric number or something like this. So simple you return a false very straightforward if it is equal to null or length is equal to equal to zero something like this fine okay so let's say i'm passing null so in that case there is no numeric number in that case there is no digit in that case so it should return false so this is something important to cover now what i'll do uh, to write the next logic i simply write int and uh, let's see i'll get the length of this particular string whatever the length is there let's see cs dot length right the length i'll get it and i'll start a for loop a simple for loop let's see int i is equal to zero i less than whatever the length is there and then i plus plus sorry i plus plus like this okay so up to the length and now I'll put one if condition. Now we have one wrapper class things. The wrapper class name is character class. I'll be using this character. Dot one method is there that is digits method is there. Okay, this particular method I'll be called is digit method. For what? So what exactly I'll be doing from this particular string, from this particular character sequence. Okay, I'll just be using cs dot character at and whatever the i index so for each and every digit i'm going to check 
if it is a digit okay then do something like this if it is equal to digit right guys so then what exactly let's see i'm passing one two three so it will check yes one is the digit right so if it is equal to true i'll deliberately i'll make it false like this with not and then i'll simply say that okay return false because if it is a digit right and then i'll make it false if it is it is equal to true i'll make it false so it will not come inside the if condition let's see if there is no digit it will be the entire condition will be false but this not will make it true condition will be satisfied it will come inside the if part and it will return false and this is what i want actually right and then finally <clears throat> you come out of it and the condition is let's say digit is there you simply write return true like this out of the for loop you have to write return true also right let's see the all this okay all the strings which are available in the form of numeric digit right so every time it will not come inside the if part it will directly come over here after this particular for loop and finally you return the true <coughs> right so let's this is simple basic logic i have written now i'll start uh, calling this and let's see i simple write system dot out of print and i call this method is numeric method is numeric i'll pass let's see first null numeric is null or not so null will be given to this guy it will call is empty it will call this particular guy and uh, cs is equal to equal to null yes condition is <coughs> satisfied and then it will return false <coughs> and actually that is not a numeric number so yes it will should return false see if you run it it is returning false so how will you write a test case so at a time of interview also guys you have to design you have to give us different test cases so let's see now i'm passing some blank value so let me write it like this a blank nothing no nothing is there it's a not even a space so when you run it we should get false for this guy also okay okay now what else let's see i'm passing one space then for this particular space also is empty will be okay is empty will be true so it will return false this is also done then let's see i'm passing let's see a what will happen a is a character but this is not non numeric character so then this also it will give you false right same thing if you are passing let's see now i'm passing one for one it is numeric so it will return two fine so let's see some more numbers i'll be passing i'm passing one two three for one two three everything is numeric it will return two you give any number let's see i'm passing <clears throat> one two three four five six zero zero something like this the entire string is made of all the numeric numbers it's returning true so this is also fine what else let's see i'm passing something like this some okay string let's see testing okay nothing numeric false if i'm passing alpha numeric i'm passing let's see test 1 2 3 then it is also written a false because this is not an entire numeric so entire string should be a pure numeric number then only we can do it what is let's see i'm passing something like this 1 2 3 initially numeric and then something like this t so this is also false it should not work okay it should give you false in that case some other value let's see i'm passing 2.3 so 2.3 is a double not integer numeric so 2.3 just because of this point it will give you a false so this is also false let's see some positive negative number and if i passing plus 1 2 3 okay so plus 1 2 3 is not the actual digit plus is there so this because of plus character it will give you false same thing for minus 1 2 3 also it should give you let's see minus 1 2 3 4 something like this it should give you false this is also not a pure numeric so exact string should be made of a pure numeric number then only it will work let's see about what about zero right for zero it will check yes it's a digit so zero is a digit so true so this method will do the magic okay
okay inside this particular character is digit number and it will handle saying that okay some unicode character range also some contains so if you pass some unicode value let's say if i passing something like this this entire unicode value let's see instead of this or i'll write something like this one second yeah let's say this is my unicode value what exactly or i'll do one thing numeric Double quotes. Oh, just a second, no mistake. Let me remove this. Okay, so let me, I think, just because of this, or I'll let me give you some other numeric. You do one thing, you just simple write is numeric and write something like this some numeric number, let's see. Um, forward slash. U nine zero or zero nine six seven. Okay, something like this. Zero nine six seven, and uh, this is again the closing bracket like this. Okay, so what do you think about this? Zero nine six seven. So this is the Unicode character. A Unicode that represents a specific numeric digit. So for this, it will give you two. Remember this thing. This is a very good example. I wanted to tell you. Okay, because this is a Unicode value. It is representing one, let's see something like this. I'm writing 67, 68, and uh, 69, <clears throat> right? So let me remove these spaces. Let's see for this, it is working or not. Yeah, so this is also true. So the entire is a numeric value. Okay, guys, so remember this thing. Let's see if I'm passing something like this some digit but with some space let's see one space one space one but just because of this particular space it will give you false there should not be any space over there right so unicode also will be handled like this right any special character if you are passing let me pass let's see dollar okay let's see dollar so dollar is not presenting is not presenting any right so it will be Calls. So this is also we can do that, right? So these are the different test cases, guys. I have written. Okay, your code should handle with both the things when the value is blank and the null. Also, these two conditions also should be satisfied, right? So the question here is that how will you how to check if the string contains only digits? Okay, only Unicode digits. That is important. Your digits as well as Unicode digits. So simple character dot is digit method is there. It will work like this okay in this matter right guys so that's all for this particular video this is a quite famous interval question these days so they wanted to know that okay which <clears throat> method is available are you aware about this particular method or not and this is the basic logic to handle null values length values and the actual logic like this okay so that's all for this particular video guys thanks for watching and if you know if you know any other solution please write down in the comment section Definitely I'll have a look. Thank you so much guys. Thanks for watching this video.